Hey guys, take a short video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit the time zone on the standby mode on iOS 17. So if you have this and you might see that the time might be incorrect for you, there's a way to actually edit that. So in order to edit that, it's going to be really simple and easy to do. So if you have this mode, once you're in this mode, all you do is temporarily just press and hold the clock. So if I want to edit the time zone, I press and hold it opens up this other menu here. Now, you'll see here, there's a couple clocks here sometimes, and you try to click on it, it doesn't really do anything. What I noticed is that if you wanted to edit this, right, you wanna add, remove the clock that's already there, and then add another clock here. So search for the clock app, right, this one, and then once you add it again, and this time you click on it, you can actually change the city that you're in. So as you can see here right now, this is, on Cupertino and we're gonna change the city, I can just simply search for the city that I wanna change to. Maybe I wanna change to Dallas here, right? And then I can go over here, hit that option and you can move it around too, right? So you can, if you want the Dallas one up top, so you can just move these around a bit. So this one, for example, if I don't want this one, I'll remove this one and then, and hopefully you should be able to just drag this one up just like that, hit done option. And then if you see that it's messed up right now, you can also edit it again. As you'll notice here, we want this one here, change it again. And then the update has been done, so we'll hit that done option. And just like that, we're able to change the correct time zone on this standby mode, just like that. And that's how you do it. And the other thing you also want to check out is that if you're having issues and it doesn't come up by default is in your settings here, you can also go into your general and then date and time. You can also set it correctly here depending on the zone that you're in. Sometimes if you're traveling, it may get messed up. You can set it manually, but most recommended is automatically as well. And then the other option you can do also is that if you have a clock app on itself here, right, this one, I would recommend removing it and adding it back onto the correct zone. Sometimes that could also interfere with the actual setting on the standby mode. And lastly, on the clock app itself, right, if you have a clock app and you mount a different world clock, I recommend adding the ones that you want and deleting the other one and keeping the one that you're in interested in at the very top. So that's how you're going to edit the standby clock zone on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.